What drew you to Eclipse Aviation? Well, I'm one of the original uh, depositors from May of 2000, so I'm, I was early, early on, and it was uh, just an opportunity as a general aviation pilot to uh, possibly own a, own a jet. When the Eclipse 500 first came out, that's kind of what motivated me to get my pilot's license in the first place. So when they announced that in the late 90s or early 2000 or whatever, I started getting a private pilot's license, and then I live in Albuquerque. So I thought, well, this will be a wonderful thing. When I saw the prototype, uh, I was really impressed, uh, looking at all the avionics and looking at what the cost of buying the plane, because I'm a single pilot and I fly a twin engine, but I thought going to a jet, this would be the perfect match for me. I always wanted to have a jet, but there was no such thing as being able to have one in the past because of the two-man crews and the cost of operating. And then the VLJ market started coming along. What are your thoughts on the impact that very light jets will have on general aviation? I think it'll be a positive impact because, first of all, the gas prices will be lower, so the cost of running the plane will be lower, and we will be going faster to places that we didn't go before. So I live in Florida, which is really a friendly state for people who want to fly. Mm -hmm. But I'll be able to, my son lives in Chicago, and I'd like to go to New York for a play or something. I could do those things, which in a barren just takes six to seven hours and refueling time. It takes much more effort than I would like to have. And this would really, plus it would give me a chance to be above the weather, be in a place where I have not been before. So it'll be great. Oh, I think it'll be good for it, especially with the airlines being is. Uh, security intense as they are anymore, it makes it a lot more convenient for our company people to fly, you know, because we can kind of A, come and go as we choose, and then B, our security procedures are a lot less stringent. Not in a bad way, it's just that <laughs> the airports are very congested anymore. People that may be in bigger jets now that are marginally being able to justify them may move down to Eclipse and VLJs because of the, the, the economics of operations. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. So I'm excited and happy to announce today that yes, the ECJ is now the Eclipse 400 and we are committed to producing the Eclipse 400 now. We received official confirmation Eclipse will bring the single engine jet, now the Eclipse 400, to market. What are your thoughts on the single engine jet versus the twin engine jet that you own? Oh, I like the, tw the single engine jet. I mean, I'm very happy with the twin engine plane. It's been great. If they would have both come out at the same exact time, I'd probably got the single engine because I fly by myself a lot. And the extra seats are just kind of a luxury. And sometimes we fill them up and sometimes we don't. But a little four-seat jet like that would be perfect for our mission profile. Well, I think it's a great complement to the 500. Um, it, it will enable uh, people who uh, couldn't, can't really justify the twin engine and, and are not looking necessarily for the, you know, don't, don't have a passion about having two engines on the airplane and don't really need the seating capacity, will be able to get uh, pretty close to the same performance of the 500 with a lot less uh, 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 capital cost and a lot lower operating cost. So I think it'll I think it'll be a, a real positive impact. As we all know, the price of gas or jet fuel is getting more and more expensive every single day. And if it can be even more efficient to have a single engine operation, it will be a better answer. Um, I would take it over a twin piston aircraft. I like the thought of the Eclipse 400 because the service ceiling is higher. Uh, I was not real interested in some of the others because it doesn't get you above the weather. Um, 35,000 is, is much better than 25,000, but I think 41,000 is even better. For me, I think a twin engine, much bigger payload, I, I can do better with that than a single engine, although it's going to be cost effective to go single engine, but I think the payload doesn't match my requirements at this time. Yeah, that's my issue.
Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Last question. Uh, with the announcement of the 400 also came the somewhat less palatable news about a price increase with the Eclipse 500. Uh, new orders will now be over $2 million for the first time. $2 million for a new order. 2.1, I believe. What are your thoughts on the 500, or excuse me, on the price increase for the 500? And let's start with, are you directly impacted with your position by the price increase? Well, I'm, I'm impacted from the standpoint that my airplane's worth more money now. Um, it, it, it won't cost me any more because I've already paid my 60% my deposit over a year ago, so I'm locked in on, on the price. Um, it, I, I think the, the positive impact it will have on you know, me and really every Eclipse operator is that, that it will put Eclipse in a better business position. I thought that was very unfortunate. I mean, I understand that the company has to make money in the long run, but the problem is that I bought the plane about four years ago at $950,000 with the CPI increase. So everything can considered I thought it would be $1.4, $1.5 million. Now to add $450,000 to the cost is actually increasing my cost at the base price by 50%. I, I think it's not fair for people who have worked with this company, put the money in the company at the initial thing and took a risk with this company. So I think they should give people who have put the money in earlier on to give them some break for people who have really worked with the company, taken the risk, and make sure that they are also serviced. It's not like, okay, we want to make money and, and forget about these people who really help the company grow. So I, I was kind of disappointed with that part of the theory, yes. Well, I have two thoughts in that. Number one, I, I'm terribly sorry. I feel, I, I feel the pain for the people that are going to be hurt by that. I think that Eclipse did a very good job of allowing them to move into a single engine jet and, and recapturing some of their potential loss in that. But I have to admit, as a stockholder in Eclipse, I was very happy. I think that I was the only person that applauded when he mentioned it. And I, I didn't do that w to be mean. I, I, I honestly believe that Eclipse took on such a huge dream and they've and gotten so close to going down the line with it that they really need to stop and reanalyze where they're falling short and this is one of the things that they just can't quite get the production rate up to make a profit. I truly believe that they're on, on track now and I think in the long run it's going to benefit all of the uh, current customers and the future customers because of the fact that the company will be here many years down the road. Between the efficiency of the aircraft, the life cycle costing of the aircraft, and frankly now that people are fully starting to understand the innovation in the systems, the simplicity of the systems, the quality of the systems, the quality of the airplane, we still think this is a phenomenally compelling value argument. And on top of that, it's still the cheapest airplane in the marketplace.